Well, people in high places are also feeling the pinch of the escalating fuel prices. Diesel is currently selling for more than 23 CDs, while petrol is hovering around 18 CDs. Speaking to Joy News, a Dansi Asokwa member of parliament, KT Hammond, revealed he nearly fought with the fuel attendant when he went purchasing fuel, and the price had almost doubled. He, however, says Ghanaians are better off because we are not in queues to get fuel. Uh, it, it, it's difficult now. My understanding is that uh, all these things have been factored into the pricing formula now. And uh, um, yes, we still find ourselves where we are now. Tell you something horrific. A few days ago, I uh, went to the, the garage, um, pumped the fuel into the car, and the bloke came up and gave me a bill. Uh, it was almost a third world war at the garage, at the station. Why is he giving me this? He said, yes, yesterday, the price of uh, uh, diesel, move, the price of super moved to what uh, the, uh, the price of diesel used to be. Diesel is now 20 whatever. I was about complaining to a colleague uh, in the profession a day after, and he said to me, <laughs> don't worry about that, it's going to go to 23 this evening. And uh, it, it, it's a particularly difficult situation. What is it that led to this? What is to be done? It's a difficult, difficult situation. And uh, nobody, I don't particularly um, envy the lot uh, of those who, who are really um, having to, to, to juggle. What do we do? Um, is the, is the, is the, what do you call it? Is that the elephant in the, in the, the room? It's the elephant in the room, normally you don't mention it, but we are mentioning it, so I'm not sure what it really is the elephant. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult thing. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's not a, a situation peculiar to only Ghana. Um, it's, it's, it's all over the place, uh, the advanced economies and the uh, not so advanced economies in Britain, um, I keep on uh, whatever these issues come up, uh, obvious point of reference of Britain. Uh, America, America, um, at a point in time, uh, fuel prices uh, were lower than the prices of uh, uh, water. I mean, you know, um, well now they also suffered. Well, KT Hammond says the current price hikes are primarily due to oil marketing companies and BDCs chasing astronomical profits, though he does not rule out the poor performance of the city as a factor. The bulk of the issue lies with the, the, uh, the, the, the BDCs and then the, 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 the OMCs. There's a crunch, a dollar crunch in the economy. The two cataclysmic situations that have bedeviled the, the world, the, the, the globe, not only Ghana, uh, have contributed in no small measure to the problems that we have. Uh, Ukraine, Russian crisis, and obviously the pandemic. So, the, you talk about reduced taxes, we'll deal with the, the main uh, tracks of it. The, 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 I made a point. It's the oil marketing companies, the, uh, uh, the, um, the big ones, the, uh, the BDCs, okay, and I have a problem, and so they better sort it out. Now, well, they got a dollar at whatever rate, um, whatever it is, so somebody should, should pay for it. You, you get a point. This is the difficulty. So three days ago, they would have said that the dollar was uh, well, 13, was 12 or something. So we bought it like this. Today, the dollar has gone to 14, whatever. So quickly, they do the multiples. It doesn't matter that they had actually brought the crude uh, or the product back into the country previously. I, I am concerned that some companies, the oil marketing companies, are making unnecessary profits. I think we... we, we we should be careful how they are also playing the market. Um, we are in this together. It's not the MPP government and whatever it is. And I think all the respective uh, individuals, uh, particularly the companies, they must, they must be very careful how this uh, plays out.